we get started here, this room is where I introduce you guys to my foster cat, Leaf, if you watch my fostering videos. Oh, sweetest. <laughs> when I become a flight attendant, I'm going to be moving to a different place. This is not where I should be right now. Nobody said that this video had a happy ending, but come along, it'll be a journey. So just for a quick recap, we got our job offer and then we were able to begin flight attendant training but just after we checked into our flight to the training facility, I'm checked into the flight and it just got cancelled again. Training was delayed and now we're finally going to training which is super exciting. So today is our first day and we have to wake up really early. Hey everyone, it's Judy here. It's currently very early in the morning and usually when I wake up like super super early I'm kind of cold. I need like a cardigan or a jacket or something But I am so nervous right now because today is the day that we are leaving for training like actually Not delayed this time like we're actually going today, which is so Intimidating but also exciting and I just have to get a couple more things like you know Like your toothbrush and stuff. I couldn't pack last night in my bag and I'm going to the airport in half an hour <laughs> After I got hired, I actually went on my company's Facebook page and I made a post asking if anyone else was in the same training class as me and if they wanted to join a group chat. And I got to meet a lot of people ahead of time, ahead of actually arriving there. And I was pretty lucky because there was one girl who we were actually on the same flight. So we had a layover in Texas. So my first flight was alone, but my second flight from Texas to the training facility was with her. able to meet up and our flight was delayed two hours but it really wasn't that bad because we were together so we just studied together in the airport and just kind of hung out and got to know each other Then once we got off the plane, we met a couple other people who were also from our company at the baggage claim and apparently we had all been on the same flight but we didn't even realize it. And some of the people we didn't even realize were on our flight until we got to the hotel and we were like, oh my gosh, I saw you at the airport. The Uber was covered by the hotel so we shared the Uber, went to the hotel and then we were able to check in immediately because our rooms were available at 3 and because of the delay, we actually ended up arriving at the facility at about 3.10. I don't think you're usually happy about airplane delays, but in this case it was pretty good. We did however manage to fit three of us in one Uber and it was like a car Uber. I have no idea how we did it, but we did do it. So after arriving, I went up to my room and I just started cleaning everything. I clean things when I'm nervous, so I unpacked my entire suitcase, sorted all my stuff out, gave everything its own little spots, and I was gonna be in this hotel for at least a month, so I figured I may as well get settled in. I don't actually know what's here because I just threw my stuff down. So we have a closet. This is nice. Okay, it's like completely dark. I don't know where the light switches are. Is this a light switch? Oh, it is a light switch. <laughs> All right, hello friends, we finally made it. So this morning we got up really early. Our first flight went fine. There was one problem with the TSA where I ended up having to stand in between two pieces of yellow tape for a good 30 minutes by myself with someone just telling me, stay in the lines every now and then. Then our next flight got delayed because the plane was overheating. So that was 
that. And then after that delay, our flight was fine. And then we landed, but we called the hotel shuttle to come pick us up and they told us that the shuttle wasn't operating at the moment. So they would get us a complimentary Uber. But then the Uber came and for some reason, I guess they just didn't have the right number and they marked us as a no-show. So then we called the hotel back and they gave us a different Uber. So then we got here. And then when I was checking into the hotel, my card wasn't reading and the entire system just crashed. So it took a bit to, to get into the hotel, but we're here now. We're here, we made it on this journey, and now we're gonna spend like 30 minutes to just like chill out in our room. Here's, here's the place, it's quite nice. The area is actually really pretty, but my view is kind of just the parking lot, but you can see back there, there's some mountains, which are absolutely gorgeous. I've never really spent much time in mountainous areas, but yeah, that's really cool. I'm not gonna lie though, I am exhausted. And in like 30 minutes, I'm gonna go out to eat with some of my classmates so that we can like get to know each other and stuff. So I don't wanna sit down because once I sit down, I'm not gonna wanna get up. Maybe I should unpack the kettle and fill it so I can make ramen later. But my friends, I wanna socialize. So I wanna go get food with them too, but I also wanna save money. Ugh, conflicting thoughts. But anyways, that is the update for now. So I have like 25 minutes before I go meet my friends. So I'm just going to sit down for a bit. I would say rest my legs as if I haven't been sitting on airplane all day. That doesn't really add up, does it? <laughs> so there was a restaurant on the first floor of the hotel, so me and some of my classmates went there for dinner, and it was really fun just getting to know them. I ordered a burger, and it was pretty cheap. They gave me a ton of fries, and my room didn't have a microwave, but I put on my kettle, and I held the fry above the kettle, like, in the steam that was coming up, and I tried to heat up my fries that way. It, it didn't work. It was an attempt. Regardless of whether the steam method worked or not, I did try to make those fries last. They were my lunch for the next couple days. Luckily, every morning there was a little sort of breakfast bar right in front of our classroom. So if you went to class like an hour early, you were able to grab something to eat first. But then... <sighs> I was actually getting really fatigued at the time because bad things were about to happen and I didn't know that yet. But I'm really excited because we're going to be meeting everyone. <laughs> And at this point, I realized that I literally could not take 